All right, now I want you to just come to, just hover your mouse at this, where you have the name of your project. Now there's a, a file part that is there, whatever is the name of your drive, users, HP, idea project, then the name of your project. Okay. All right, so I want you to follow this path and locate where this idea project is, then open up your project. So go to- Okay, C. so should we, should we close it? No, you don't need to close it, just like open a new, windows your windows key and e will open a new windows for you so go to know, the name of the file part i want us to um, locate so I, yes i could just quick access search idea can't okay. i however but just idea project get to that place learning coding and i'm there okay fantastic what? everybody there how do yes, i how do i reach the area? i'm there Okay, like I said, just just beside your the name of your project, I just have the name of my project as Liang. I don't know what that means. So, but I have C, it's on drive C. Then after drive C, but, you have users. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. After okay, users, you could just PhD. go to you should just go to quick access and search main and search the idea projects and then All right. click. So you can search it up or you can follow that path. Anyone that works for you. So have you seen idea projects? Yes, I see it. Yes. So you, you now see the name of the project that you created. What's the name of your project there? Yeah. The first Java program. Okay. So double click it and tell me what you see there. Yeah. Or open it up. I dot idea out nice. and SRC. Out SRC learning coding dot IML. Okay, open yeah, first Java program dot IML. Open open our SRC. Let's see. A main dot Java. Good. Good. Main, not not the Java. Mine is just main. Just main. Just you, don't have, main. you will see it's because you don't have file uh, extensions turned on. You click view, then you go show, then you show, sh click, then you check file name extensions. Simple. So okay, see it. Okay. Well, I'm yeah, very glad. My... I'm very glad that we all are exposed to all these things. That's nice. All right. So guys, this is it. This is it. This is it for now. Okay. Please, after this class, make sure make sure you go through what we've just done, right? I don't want us to okay. load up everything, but just make sure you go through this. In the next class, we are going to be looking at um, variables, right? We'll be defining the different uh, file data types, either integer, either character, and all that, either Boolean, okay. and we'll be learning about more of our operation, right? Remember, if you don't get the basics, there's no how you understand the advanced. All right, so if the basic is looking so easy now, then congratulations because it will even become more easier as we go. That's why I need you to just, after this class, even though not now, five minutes either tomorrow before our next class on Tuesday, try and go through all that we've done today. All right, try and go through it. Is that okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, I don't know if you have any question, please. I'll be ready to entertain any question before we end this class. Thank you. Oh, this seems easy, I understand it. Okay, it's easy for now, yes. So does that mean it's going to get harder? No, I said it's easier <laughs> for now. It's easy for now. I don't believe that. I know. I'm, I'm good, chap. Okay, I'm good. Okay, what of uh, Joy? I don't know. She just... She has not said anything since. Madi? Uh -huh. Sure. All right. Um, yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Yes, I didn't want to talk of you. In case of the noise here. It's all right. But then are you going to send the slides for today? Yeah, definitely. I'll send the slide after every class. Okay, so I'll do it when I get back. But you know, the slide is limited. There's not everything that is contained within. The slide is just like uh, showing us. I have any oh, Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Madi. So. Yes. I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so um, hope the class was interesting. Uh, yes, is there anything was. that I should do better next class? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, no, yeah, it's okay. No issue. No All right. So, thank you very much. We see. So, wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, right. how do we save this? This okay. file. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. That's a very nice question. So, how to save is just go to file. Although it actually saves automatically for you, right? It saves automatically yeah. for you. But if you want to save, is it export? Save all. Export. Okay, save file as a term. Okay, just click on save all. It will just save for yeah. you. I just save all. It will just save for okay, you. Okay, mine are saved. Mine are all saved. Right, fantastic. 
Because oh, one, one very good thing about it is like it's saving almost every second. Because supposing your computer just crashes, when you open it back, it will, you know, take you back to where you stopped, right? Okay. Yeah, but Control S does the same for us. Okay. So um, that is that. At least we've learned how to create our first project on Java, our first application on Java. We learned a little about the syntax in Java, right? How it is important that we actually follow the syntax else we have error and how to troubleshoot the error. We also learned how to uh, write our very first Java program talking about the statements and how to print it out, how to use the plus operator to join a different statement and I'll put it on our screen. Also learned, uh, what else do we learn? What else? What I think that is basically it for today. Okay. So yep. thank you, thank you. All right, okay. you guys are the best. Thank you very much. I'm in the class now. All right, bye. Uh, bye guys. Yes.